Hey everyone, Cooper and Alex here from IGN. Now we're about to claim a radio tower in Far Cry 4, is this right? Uh, that's right, so obviously a huge part of Far Cry 3, again, massive part of Far Cry 4, uh, because what they enable you to do is see more of the map. Um, so much like the previous game, there are you know three to four radio towers in each kind of region. Okay. Um, when you first go into the region, it's clouded. You can't see anything apart from the outpost. You know kind of roughly where they are, but you can't see anything else, you can't see any other kind of points of interest. So what you need to do is get to the top of them. Uh, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Now, some are easy, some are a little less tricky. Now, I'd only just gone into this one and uh, I missed the jump that's just back there to the left, but it's all right, I'd, I'll get back there in a minute. Excuse my poor game playing skills. This is rubbish. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Well, that, of all the footage you captured of Far Cry 4, we're showing this. <laughs> I'm just saying that this is going to be most people's experience. So uh, everyone watching, this is this for the next 10 minutes? No, it's not. Look, I see the <laughs> ropes and it's like, right, that's how you get up there. And I'll show you a different way of climbing to the top or okay. getting to the top uh, of a radio uh, tower a little bit later on. I don't think you should work for IGN wikis. All right, then. Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the radio towers, they're spouting kind of propaganda from pagan men. Uh, and often, like when you get to these places a little bit later in the game, they are protected by his loyalists. So this seems interesting about Pagan Min to me, because in the in the previous game, Vast and so on, it seemed like they're ruled by terror, whereas Pagan yep. Min seems like he rules with charm and and kind of propaganda, agitprop, and, yeah. and so on. And I think the other interesting thing is, like, because I spoke to the game director, obviously Vast was a, an incredibly like character from the last game, uh, but spoilers, he died off, uh, he was killed off halfway through. Now apparently Pagan Min is going to be the main uh, antagonist all the way through the game. Okay. Obviously you're not going to encounter him until later on, but you've seen him in the trailers. He is a charming guy, but he's absolutely nuts. Mm. Um, and that's why... Obviously well, it's, I suppose why the people that we've seen in the other gameplays, the people who are willing to die for him, is, I guess they've built up a cult of personality yeah. around him. Yeah. Um, but here we are, so we're getting nearer to the top of the, um, of the, the radio oh. tower, there's birds flying through. It's a through. little hummingbird, that's, yeah. that's good. That's, actually, it's a really good point. Um, like the, the wildlife that you see in and around uh, Cryer is, is incredible, obviously it's running on next gen, so you, know, you can see the Himalayas in the distance and later in the game you will get to the top of there, but uh, for the purposes of, of my demo, is much further down in the valleys. Um, but yeah, there's so much going on in terms of wildlife and you know the, the kind of dynamic events and random things happening. There you can see that I climbed to the top, but then you know guards have turned up, uh, and although they can't see me right now, that when I get to the bottom, they will certainly spot me. But yeah, the aim of this point is obviously to get to the top of the radio mast, where you will find uh, that contraption there, um, and then when you hammer that, it will unlock a bunch of new areas that you can go and explore. So that's Bell Tower 2, liberated. I like how you fix stuff. Exactly. <laughs> that's very much my IT skills in real <laughs> life. So you can see it swoops around the map, uh, different uh, areas to go and uncover there, your allies, any guys in blue, they're, they're on your side. Uh, wolves, stay away from wolves, they are mean. So this, this is game. showing you a key, like an overview of the key areas. Yeah, so they will then appear on your map. Now this is the second part, so that's one way of getting to the top of the Bell Tower. This is a much, much easier way. Now, you know my obsession with helicopters. <laughs> yeah, I do. So I spent a lot of time in the buzzard in this game. Actually, I was playing it in co-op here, so you can see uh, the little blue icon there. That's basically my co-op mate was there, and the original plan was to drop him off on the top. So he jumps off there, and then you'll notice in the top left in a second... Oh, he died. He's dead. Oh, <laughs> so AJ! He, he jumps off and missed. But that's okay, because I'm pretty goddamn good in a helicopter. So you could spend ages climbing up. Oh, this is a this is a really rickety old helicopter. I know, I know. And like the first thing I did was like, well, surely I can fly up to the Himalayas in this. No, it's got a maximum altitude and it's pretty low. And as okay. soon as you go up higher than that, it stalls. So we're probably not far off the altitude. But look at this. Whoa! Oh. That's much better than your climbing. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you park it there. You hammer that. My, my IT skills are still the same. You, what you want to do is adjust the electronic circuitry. There you go. And that's the easy Watch way to liberate a bell tower, is, is flying up. Um, and of course then you go and see everything else. That obviously one of the important things here, well one of the cool things that I saw, is yeah you've got all these farms to go and see. Um, but my favourite thing of all is you get to see a tiger fighting a bear. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on a sec. There you go. Just Who wouldn't want to go there? Just hanging out. <laughs> So that's it, that's how you take control of the bell towers in Far Cry 4. Obviously lots of them scattered around the entire map. For all things Far Cry 4, keep it locked on IGN.